Occasionally I get the call from a client who has pets and they don't know what to do about their pets and they want me to prepare a will that leaves their estate to their cat or their dog or their horses. Unfortunately, you can't leave your estate directly to your cat or your dog or your horses. I was reminded of this this morning when I opened my own bills and found a bill for my veterinarian for my older dog. And I very quickly realized that no one other than me would pay to take care of this dog. Let's face it, she's not pretty anymore. She's been grumpy all her life. Yeah, she's bit a couple of people, but I still take care of her. And so I have some sympathy for those of you who are desiring to take care of your pets even after you're gone, and we can do that. You don't leave the gift directly to the animal. The animals can't have tax ID numbers, bank accounts, nor can they sign checks. But you can leave money in trust to take care of your animals. You can appoint a fellow animal lover such as yourself, or maybe not an animal lover, maybe just a trusted friend, and put money aside to be held for the care of your dog or cat. You can tell the trustee what you're willing to support and what you're not willing to pay for. Maybe you will include money to have your pet buried, Maybe you'll include money to pay for the food and medical care for your pet. But you probably know that as our animals get older, they can become less fun to be around and they can become lots more expensive. Now some people aren't willing to incur the expense of creating a trust for their cat and they try alternate methods. I was involved in an estate where the gentleman who appeared otherwise sane insisted in his will that we have his dog put to sleep as soon as he died. The dog was young and healthy. I have to tell you that I couldn't support that decision and frankly I wouldn't help you put that in your trust either. I'm sorry but if that's what you want you'll have to use another attorney. But let's face it, there's lots of attorneys out there. Someone will put that in your will or trust if that's what you want to say. On the other hand, if you want to set aside some money to make sure that your dog or cat receives food and medical care, I'm for that and I'll help you do that. Be thinking about who will be in charge of the trust and give us a backup plan or two. For example, I appoint my brother Chris as the trustee of my trust for Sparky, my dog, but if he can't do it, then my sister Rhonda will serve as the trustee, and so forth. These are all trusts that can be supported in the law as it currently stands, but don't write a will that says I leave my money to Sparky the dog. That's just not feasible for us to administer legally right now. There may come a day when that's allowed, but right now it's not the way to do it. So if you need help with any estate planning, but especially with taking care of your pets, I'd love to be helpful to you. Give us a call at 405-733-8686. Thank you.